Okay, so I'm right over by my house. Um, and here we got beavers have moved in in the last couple days. And of course I left my gun at home. There's two of them sleeping right on top of the old house. So I will get that dam broke as soon as I get back from bear baiting. Drop a few traps and see? That's how fast a pair of those little buggers move in and, and make a nest. I had my gun with me all for two weeks and and now I could just save the trouble of having to set trap by banging them two off, but I took it out. Or I forgot to bring it and put it in the truck. I didn't forget, I just didn't bother because I haven't really seen anything lately. So. Let me see what they'll do if I honk my horn because they don't seem overly concerned about me right now. There they go. Going into the water. I know right where the entrances are in this thing, so let's see if they went in there. Oh no. Okay, that branch right there just moved, so they're swimming this way. Okay, so that means I better see just up here, not even a quarter mile, there's another house, but I was leaving it until I. Oh, yeah, see, this bubble's coming up right there, he's swimming over that way. I'll come and get them out of here right away. Just going up to, I'm only checking those traps that are close to the house today and then doing a couple, running a couple bear baits. So, maybe I'll just uh, come here tonight and with the gun too, I'll break that dam and be swimming right through there right now, just under the water. Anyhow. We'll be back. I'll see you later, beavers. Hey guys, we're over at the trap close to my house. We got a transient beaver here, a two-year-old. The number four on the other side, the slide wire set was sprung. But these are the first out of the, what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight traps. One wasn't sprung. The first one I checked, go up the road, um, and I got five left to check after this. So. But we'll get in this guy out of here and get this thing reset. I see those buddy beavers have moved back in here. So I just put another trap on the other side of the culvert on an old dam there that I had set real early before it flooded over. I might have to bring another trap and go up there. Next time I'm here, you can see right where I had that channel set where the break in the dam was. And you can see they've got it fixed now. Right there. I'll have to go break that and reset it, I guess. And I throw over at the next trap. I think you can see them down there. Another nice two year old. these rubber gloves that I bought last year to, for fall rat trapping. They sure come in handy for keeping uh, all that trapping goo cut in my that open wound. 
or off the band aid at least. Just cover it up. Nice dark beaver, anyways. Another trap just over here, a little ways. Here, just leave the camera on. on jungle in here. Yeah. I see a beaver hiding way down here. Oh shoot, he's caught by the payoff again. You know, I'll have to smoke him out and another two-year-old. Nice, I'll get him taken care of. Turn the camera off. Okay, so we're here at the last traps of the day. Well, the last out of those eight. So that one over there is not sprung the scent post set. But here we got uh, another two year old. And that trap here on top of the, the upstream side of the dam. And I don't know what's here, if anything. It's uh, the traps. Look way out there, but don't look like nothing. It might be something else. Whatever it is, it's small. And if that's a muskrat, I don't know how the heck it got that. That's a muskrat, huh? How the heck it dragged that trap way over there. But, anyways. So, four beavers, one rat out of eight traps. Not as good as last trip, but still better than a kick in the nuts with a frozen snowshoe. Alrighty, keep your boots dry, boys. Hey guys, I just wanted to mention as well, it's, uh, I don't know what it is, May 29th? No, April 29th. And you see, muskrat season is going to close tomorrow. So now I've got... I'm setting all these triggers on the beaver traps like so, off to one side and just straight up and down. So it gives you know muskrats and whatnot room to swim through there, but without hopefully springing the trap. And uh, because you know after tomorrow, any muskrats I catch, I got to turn them into the game warden. So might as well just leave them out here. Every, every beaver trap I've been checking today, I'll be doing that too, or that I have checked today. And then every one that I check tomorrow will have the triggers all. I've got a lot of them on the other end already turned over, so. You see that one down there too. It's a, you can see the trigger just poking out of the water there on the side. See you beaver will go through there, especially with these Savageos, they're two-way or four-way triggers, so something can go in there and push it sideways and it'll spring the trap as well, so hopefully you know, get the otters to sneak through or maybe they're going to be in here, but uh, haven't caught any in here yet, but muskrat should be able to get through there hopefully without springing it, so groovy. Okay, catch you later.